Garbageman if Reddit, what are your pet peeves about all of us? What can we do to make your job better? Don't park in no parking zones or right next to tight alleyway and transit exits. Please put dirty diapers in garbage bags instead of leaving them loose in the can. We can't always collect mattresses, long pipes, pallets, etc. Please understand that we don't make those decisions. Some are made by our bosses, others by the laws of physics. Put your ducking needles in a goddamn sharps disposal container. My neighbor loaded his garbage tote with extra sand left over from building his fire pit. When the garbage man came to get it, he could not move it. He yelled in anger, tied a rope on it, dragged with the truck to the middle of the alley and finally managed to get it in position for the truck mechanism to lift the tote and empty it into the truck. The man was almost paralyzed with anger when he saw the sand. Such a nice guy too. Those guys are under incredible pressure to complete their routes quickly. Anything you can do to smooth their way is a kindness. My collector would have written a ticket and refused to collect that can. Edit, typo. In Japan you would get the note of shame where anyone driving through the neighborhood can see that orange letter on your uncollected trash because you failed to follow simple recycling and or trash separation. If you have two cans. Space them at least three feet apart. Damn I didn't even think about this. I got you next week fam. I'ma go out and spread those cheeks right now. Bust them cheeks bro. It's what brothers do. What are you doing step bro? Not a garbage man, but a maintenance worker who takes out a lot of garbage. Please stop putting liquids in the trash at stores or gas stations or anywhere someone would have to physically pull out the trash bag. Would you throw away a 34 full extra large soda at your own house? They make the bag so heavy and it will all come out of the bottom and will get everywhere, then we have to mop or clean with a hose. Every time. If you don't want your drink, empty the liquids in a sink, better, or in some soil, away from plants, and only throw the container away in the bin. My buddy was just telling me about this. But with piss bottles and cups from truckers at rest stops. Gross. Based on a warning that could have been a fine I got while living with my mother-in-law my mother-in-law lived with me use bags. Don't pour cat litter directly in the bin. Edit, it was her. She had the cat but I got the warning because of her. I didn't do this shit. God damn guys, I guess I wasn't clear. As a cat owner, I cringe at this. How could you scoop the litter directly into a bin? Always use a bag. When I moved into my council house, the previous tenants had left cat litter in a tray across the yard and the neighboring cats had soiled it and they had emptied cat litter into the recycling bin. The council didn't clean it up, so I had to. I had to get a trowel to get it from the garden, and while doing it some flicked up in my face when the trowel got caught on a root. Disgusting. Mine asked me to move my cans from out from under the sweeping tree limb. I just did not even realize it was in the way. It was though. Moved my cans. Apologized. Thankful they take away my trash. I've been out of the game for a few years, but I'll name two that really pissed me off. If you can afford to not use dollar store garbage bags, please do so. They tear super easy to and make a goddamn mess that I then needed to clean up. And don't then fill the bloody things with heavy cat litter. Second, broken glass goes in a taped up box, not the garbage bag. No one likes getting stabbed by random glass hidden in a garage bag. I bought really cheap budget garbage bags. Outside very light loads of paper, not worth it. Just about every garbage company has instructions on what can be recycled in their jurisdiction. Different places have different rules. It takes only a few minutes to seek this information out and save valuable human resources in fixing people's lazy mistakes. I worked for a parks department for a time, and I was the one to empty the garbage cans in all of the parks in the city. It's not very big, putting things like, whole vacuum cleaners drug stashes garbage bag full of household garbage dead things broken glass bulk frozen things unfinished dairy based liquids aren't cool. Wait people hide their stash in garbage at parks. Guess I've found my new hobby. More than one, actually. One was across the street from a halfway house. Had a receipt and was store-bought and everything. Damn, we must all have very different garbage services. Recycling? Composting? Pick up bags by hand. We just get a large green bin we can put out twice a week. If it's not inside of the bin it doesn't go because they don't even get out of the truck. If you have extra you haul it off yourself to the dump or transfer station. 
You don't recycle where you are? So this is one thing that blows my mind as many major cities don't recycle at all. It's expensive. Really expensive, because unfortunately a lot of things like glass are still cheaper to make new. Emo the worst thing is some city s countries collect it all but then it either gets stuck in a warehouse for the next generation to deal with, sent overseas for recycling in the magical land of not my problem anymore or they just say duck it we tried and landfill it anyway. When I was a garbage woman I used to hate people who build as much as they can on top of the bin. The funny part is the company I worked for decided it was an O's problem, so we just put a sticker on the front of the bin left it. O's. Living in a high density city, one thing that annoys me to all ends and probably also the garbage man are the frequent apartment dumps. We have several large metal dumpsters in the back alley and it seems like every month some asshole moves out and tries to cram all their furnishings in the dumpsters. They pack all of the building's dumpsters full of their belongings and anything that won't fit gets tossed on the ground or lent against one of the buildings. The garbage men hate this and so do the tenants. They only grab one item off the ground per week, MN. Dumpster divers come through and grab some stuff but it usually takes a long time for the junk to clear. Up this happened in my apartment building this weekend. Someone moved out and abused the dumpster. And then, my, rude ass, neighbors started piling their trash bags up outside of the bins. Made a huge mess. Of course the garbage service only dumps the bins. I ended up tossing all of the bags into the trash can that morning after the dumpster was emptied because the flies and ants were swarming and I didn't want it to get worse. And also figured it'd get enjoyment out of tossing garbage bags into an empty bin in the morning so everyone could hear the aftermath of what they had done. While I'm not a garbage man I've read not to put any sort of blade into your trash cans because they can cut their hands pretty easily. Just reading through the comments and I have a questions for non-Australians. Do you guys not have garbage trucks that pick up the garbage bin? Not in my neighborhood. So here in my suburb of Houston, Texas, we have hoas that control the trash contracts. But the neighborhood right next door they have a contract with a company that uses the trucks you describe. My hoa actually had us paying for door service meaning you don't even have to walk it to your curb. The men run behind the truck with giant bins on dollies and gather your trash from in front of your garage door. I still will mind to the curb. The Australian system is so simple, we have three different trucks for three different bins. The green one for leaves, grass and sticks. The yellow one for recycle. And the red one for general garbage. Then the trucks pulls up to the side of the bin and a claw picks the bin up and pours it into the top of the truck. That's what we have where I live in California, except recycling is blue and garbage is black. Our green waste is green too. Not a garbage man, but I was a janitor for a year. Please, for the love of all that is good in this world, don't puke in trash cans. It is literally better for the puke to be on the ground than for it to be in a trash can. It is the nastiest and horrible thing to deal with, trying to get a bag out of a trash can when there is puke in it. Imagine if Teresa hole in the bag, etc. there, I've said my piece, he'll make peace with it now. I unfortunately just recently got my first puke bag, but one of my most upvoted comments on here is a huge diatribe about not puking in bathroom sinks. I would argue that that is possibly the only place worse to vomit than in the trash. Stop telling us we missed your bin when you forgot and put it out late. We have cameras on the trucks now. We can see straight through your lies. Be selective. Don't put just any random thing in the trash. There are quite a few things that are either illegal to put in your trash or dangerous in some way. Dispose those items properly. Propane cylinders in particular. I worked in a landfill for a few weeks as a temp job right after college. The D7 dozer ran over one that was partially full and while no one was injured, it blew out the back window of the bulldozer. That must have been a two pair of huggies kind of moment. 